You're listening to the Coconut Avenue Radio and Podcast Network. Welcome to Out There on the Edge of Everything, the show that examines, helps you understand, and effectively deal with the interesting edges of life. Broadcasting now from the virtual C344 studios overlooking the edge of Coconut Avenue is your host, award-winning and best-selling author, Dr. Stephen Lesovich. Hi, this is Dr. Stephen Lesovich out there on the edge of everything. This episode is entitled, Are You Perfect, Excellent, or Just Good? There is a series entitled The Football Life on the NFL Network on cable television. One of the programs in the series includes a two-part episode about the legendary football coach of the Green Bay Packers in the 1960s, Vince Lombardi. In part one, in an episode entitled Lombardi Saves the Franchise, there is an interview with the late NFL Hall of Fame Packer quarterback Bart Starr. Mr. Starr indicated that in one of the very first meetings after Vince Lombardi took over as head coach of the Packers, Coach Lombardi walked into the meeting and said, quote, Gentlemen, we are going to relentlessly chase perfection, knowing full well we won't catch it because nothing is perfect, but we are going to relentlessly chase it because in the process we will catch excellence. I am not remotely interested in being just good, close quote. And this is how Bart Starr, the quarterback of the Green Bay Packers in the 1960s, recalled what Vince Lombardi said that day. Now, in my blog post on slesovich.com, I have a video clip with Mr. Starr sharing this story. On offense, the Green Bay Packers ran a single play called a power sweep a majority of the time. It is a play of precision, teamwork, and brains. The power sweep was a technique, a football play, that was practiced over and over and over again by the Green Bay Packers. The power sweep was a simple play that included numbers of levels of decisions to be made each time it was run. The Packers ran it over and over again as Coach Lombardi chased perfection for his offense. What do you think about Coach Lombardi's perfection hierarchy from top to bottom? Perfect, excellent, and good. It's hard to argue with a success Coach Lombardi received with this hierarchy. He won three championships pre-Super Bowl and Super Bowls one and two for a total of five NFL championships. The trophy presented to the winner of the NFL Super Bowl each year includes his name and is called the Lombardi Trophy. However, is this hierarchy and philosophy outdated, a relic of the 1960s, or is it still relevant today? So I ask you, what is your edge of chasing perfection? What do you think of Coach Lombardi's philosophy about chasing perfection and his hierarchy? Is it realistic for your professional life? Is it realistic for your personal life? Is it necessary to chase perfection at all? Should you even try? If you want to pursue perfection, how can you do it? Consider these three steps. Number one, define what you think perfection is. Define the characteristics for the type of perfection you're going to pursue. What does perfection look like, feel like, taste like, smell like, sound like for you? Why does your view of perfection have these characteristics? Is your type of perfection simple or complex? For Coach Lombardi, perfection was having his offense run the power sweep to beat the opposing team's defense and score a touchdown Every single time it was run without anybody on the offense making a single mistake. Number two, define the steps you need to chase perfection. Define the steps you would need to execute to chase your desired type of perfection. Are your action steps simple or complex? Can they be accomplished by yourself or do you need the assistance of others? Coach Lombardi felt that to chase perfection, it was necessary for his offensive team to execute simple plans. He felt if actions were too complex under a pressure situation, one or more of his players would make a mistake. That is why the offense ran the power sweep in practice and games thousands of times over and over. Number three, 
to find the steps you need to recognize your achievement of perfection. Finally, to find the steps you need to recognize the achievement of your type of perfection. How will you recognize it? How will you know when you achieve it? For Coach Lombardi, he could recognize perfection with his power sweep by having his offense score a touchdown without being stopped by the defense every single time the power sweep was run. Of course, this is not realistic, but that was his view of perfection. In addition, none of his offensive players would make a single mistake, like missing a block, running to the left instead of running to the right, fumbling the football, engaging in an action that caused a penalty, etc. If you cannot achieve your type of perfection, you may catch excellence. How will you recognize excellence? How will you know when you achieve excellence instead of perfection? For Coach Lombardi, excellence was scoring a touchdown with a power sweep without making any mistakes a majority of the time. Not all of the time, but a majority of the time it was run by his offense. Or would you be happy just being good? without a pursuit of perfection or excellence. Is just being good an appropriate final result? Only you can decide that for yourself. Until next time, I'm Dr. Stephen Lesovich, Out There on the Edge of Everything. You have been listening to Out There on the Edge of Everything, the show that examines, helps you understand, and effectively deal with the interesting edges of life. For more information on your host, Dr. Stephen Lesovich, please visit slezovich.com. For more information on prior and future shows, please visit coconutavenueradio.net. This is the Coconut Avenue Radio and Podcast Network.